Hello everybody, it's Mike Levin getting ready to unbox my Raspberry Pi 2. On May 31st, 2012, I put out this fateful video that reached uh, 1 million 200 and some thousand views. And this video is the um, supplementary video which will talk about the preparation of the SD card. It's not the un actual unboxing, that will be my next video. So we open a new tab and we go to Google and we say, okay Google, download Raspberry Pi 2 software. And it looks like the normal Raspberry Pi download page. So I'm going to presume uh, we'll take a look at the home page to see if they have any special notices. <laughs> Raspberry Pi products. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything about, let's see, we'll click resources. Teach, oh, downloads, okay, downloads. Yeah, takes us back to that exact same page. So I am going to assume that the process is exactly the same. In fact, the image is exactly the same for the just now shipping Pi 2. So I actually had already downloaded the torrent for noobs, which is the recommended one. It has a lot of these other versions actually uh, on the uh, SD card. And on first boot up using the SD card, you choose which installation to use. And uh, this open elect I started to get some exposure to from the Q box I recently set up, and that is an XBMC media center. That is for playing videos and movies and stuff, and for uh, uh, installing just special software that's uh, for that media center setup. And uh, it boots incredibly quickly, but is not one of these, shall we say, repository based. Uh, Linuxes like Raspbian and Ubuntu are where you can apt get or use some other software to just get one of the now, you know, tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands bit of bits of free and open source software. So I would recommend uh, Raspbian, but uh, via noobs because it has a lot of stuff for people just getting started. And I had already uh, downloaded it. And I also got this SD formatter package. So I'll be doing some pausing while stuff gets formatted. So first thing we do is we load the SD formatter. You will be guided through the steps necessary. Continue. Uh, install for all. Oh, this is actually putting the SD formatter on your hard drive. I already have it on my hard drive. So I just find SD formatter. It makes you do your password. And there it is running there. Okay, no media found. We take our SD card. I'm on a MacBook Air, so I have to use this adapter. I put it into the side of my Mac. And I will do a quick format because I have formatted this before as, uh, let's see, this one, okay, option, I'm going to keep the default options, format, let's see how fast this is, not bad, I shall Call it noobs. Oh, it looks like, uh, did I, act? oh, format complete. Okay, well, I might not get that name. No big deal. Close. I now have the card here, uh, which the instructions, oddly enough, are to take the contents of the noobs directory. And this is exactly the opposite advice I had been given people. Uh, you know, I, I'm advocating, I used to advocate back three years ago to do a raw image copy using the Linux or Unix DD command. But the problem with that is it never took advantage of the full size of your card. And so this new method uh, apparently does. 
So I copy all this stuff over to the quote root of the um, SD card I just formatted. And that looks like 775 megabytes. So we pause. And we unpause. And now this card, interestingly, is a boot card. When you take this little guy and you put it into, uh, I'll use my Raspberry Pi uh, B Plus. When you put it in this little location here, like so, and you power it on, it will walk you through a menu that lets you choose from Raspbian or probably some other and it'll go through the installation procedure and then you'll have an SD card uh, you know bootable in whatever uh, you chose from that menu from that point forward and this seems to be the new approach to uh, to setting up your Raspberry Pi uh, SD card you do of course need a computer to do this first step which is sometimes one of the complaints about the Raspberry Pi but you can always just buy pre-formatted uh, prepared uh, boot cartridges, shall we say, for Raspberry Pi uh, off of the internet for people who have a concern with that process. So anyway, this sets me up well for the uh, upcoming video on the Pi 2 unboxing, a quad-core Cortex uh, version, um, because I'll have the, the card ready, and hopefully it's the same uh, image required uh, for that model. Thanks. I uh, can't wait to do the unboxing video for you. Talk to you soon, and don't forget to subscribe.